how to eat soup so it doesn't drip on your clothes, the table, even on the floor. Are we doing something wrong? Or do we need something that will help us eat the soup graciously? Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about soup etiquette. My name is Lucina, I'm an international etiquette expert. Let's start. We can always find it on the right part of our main plate. If it is put above our main plate, then it is for a desert course. There are two kinds of soup spoons, round and oval ones. You will have round soup spoon. These spoons are for cream soups and for broth with no vegetables in it. And the other type is the oval soup spoons. Oval ones are for broth with vegetables in it. So there is also one new one connected to those spoons. Remember, round ones, when we take the soup, we eat from the side, from the side of the spoon. As for the oval ones, we eat from the angle. Round ones from this side, cream soups and broth with no vegetables, and broth with large vegetables in it, to eat with oval spoons, and from the angle. But now let's see how should we hold the soup spoon. So remember, we are holding so that the end of the handle of the spoon rests on our middle finger. So the end of the handle should rest on our middle finger and our thumb should be on top. So here is the right way. So please do not hold the spoon this way. It's not uh, nice from the side. And also please do not hold like a pencil. Okay? So remember the end of the handle should rest on our middle finger and our thumb on top. So let's pass to the process of eating soup. The first rule, remember, do not lean down toward the soup. Always keep your back straight. And it doesn't matter what you eat, please keep your back straight when you are at the dining table. So remember, it's not we who are going down to the bowl, it's the spoon that should come to our mouth. So we are not doing like this, but we are keeping our back straight and we are raising the spoon to our mouth we can come a little bit forward with our spine a little bit forward but not in no case go down it's not beautiful from the side so it's more aristocratic it's more elegant when we are keeping our back straight and raising the spoon to our mouth that's all the second thing that ruins our image when we start to blow on our soup when it is hot so remember it's not neither recommended nor critical when we blow on either of the soup uh, doesn't matter if it's soup or coffee, tea, we do not blow on the dish or the drink to cool it down. Just wait for a few minutes, one to two minutes, or we can do like small moves with our spoon. This. If you think it's helpful to cool it down. Remember, no blowing on the soup to cool it down. Meanwhile, we can wait for a few minutes and 
have some beautiful conversation with our darling compatriots. The next rule, when eating the soup, we are spooning it away from us, not towards us, but away from us. I know we, are, we have all been taught to spoon it towards us, uh, but the right way is to spoon it away and it has its scope. So why do we do that? Spooning it away allows any excess soup that's going to dribble off and fill remain in the bowl because we are going to wipe the back of the soup slightly to wipe it across the rim of the plate. So that's a great step that no one should miss because we are going to avoid uh, those uh, dribblings of the spoon on the table, on the service plate, on our clothes. So we are going to spoon it away, we are wiping it across the rim of the plate and only then we are going to enjoy it. If we want to have some bread with our uh, soup, then remember one great rule. We are not going to hold in our one hand the bread, in the other hand the spoon, like this. No. Instead, place the spoon in the plate. Have enjoyed your bite of bread and only then when your two hands are free. Only then again take your spoon and continue eating your soup. So remember, when we want to have some bread, we're not going to hold in our one hand the bread, in the other hand the spoon. By the way, soup is usually served as a starter at lunch or dinner and best to serve it in cool weather, not in warm. Adding crackers in your soup, do not drop them all at a time, but rather because in the end we'll have not soup but rather oatmeal, for example. Uh, so we're adding one or two, maximum two crackers we are eating and then again we are adding one important detail. So do not please add too much soup in your spoon. So add as much as we can safely bring it to our mouth. Please do not slurp. Instead of slurping the soup, just sip it from the side of the spoon. Not like... It's even hard, and for me to show you, but from the side it's like the ugliest thing I have ever heard and seen. So the golden rule, please, eat the soup as silent as possible. Thank you. Soups are generally served and should be served on a service plate underneath, in a soup bowl. If there is no service plate, so here we see that I do have, so in the end, uh, during the course, soup course, when we are eating our soup, we are placing our spoon, it can be at 4 at 5 o'clock. But in the end, when we are already done with our soup, we are placing it on the service plate underneath. What to do if we do not have a service plate? Then in the end, you are going to place the soup spoon in the soup bowl. So remain it in the soup bowl in the end. But never put it on the table or on the table cloth. So also, please, uh, when we are going to bring it to our mouth, do not do like this. It's not even easy to do. So hold it in this position and eat from the side. In the end, when it becomes difficult to take the last amount of soup from the bottom of the bowl with our spoon, you can just slightly tilt the bowl away from you and then scoop it up 
the door spins. But I would not recommend you to do that in formal dining, in high-class restaurants, because first of all, we are making noise when the spoon strikes the plate as it takes our attention, and secondly, it's not nice from the side. So remember, we are eating the soup as far as it starts to make noises. Eat the soup up to the moment when it starts to make noises. If the soup is with large ingredients in it, so here we have broccoli, uh, chicken and potatoes, remember those ingredients are eaten last. So that's all you need to know about soup etiquette, how to graciously and elegantly eat and enjoy your soup. However, what I shared with you today is completely accepted and recommended in Western culture. In Eastern culture, it's completely different. So please, if you are from Eastern part of the world and you know what is recommended, you know what is accepted in your culture while we are eating soup, please write in the comments. In the end, I wish you to be a perfect guest and to have perfect guests at your home. Lucina was with you. See you in the next video.